Many people believe that inflammation is the root cause of chronic disease, which often leads to taking things like turmeric, fish oil, or some sort of other biochemical intervention to calm the flames in hopes of healing. Now, we are not anti-supplement and things like that do have a time and a place. However, they are not addressing the deeper reasons that are fueling inflammation and contributing to chronic disease in the first place. We would argue that inflammation is a symptom, not a root cause. So what is the root cause of chronic inflammation? We will be answering that question in this week's video, so keep watching. Hi there, I'm Sarah Korzenewski, registered dietitian, functional medicine practitioner, transformational coach, founder of The Organic Dietitian, and collaborating partner with Jen here at Wellness Code Academy. So to go back to the original question, what is the root cause of chronic inflammation? Well, the answer is reduced cellular energy production. And why is this? Well, our health is very dependent on how healthy our cells are, how much energy our cells have. And on the flip side, when cellular energy starts to go down, then that ultimately can lead to chronic health issues. And reduced cellular energy typically happens well beneath the surface, often for many years, sometimes an entire lifetime, before symptoms actually start to pop up. Symptoms are the end result of long-standing low cellular energy. And this is because cells need energy to perform their functions. This would be like trying to drive your car being super low or depleted on gas. One of the top functions that cellular energy supports is detoxification. But every system of your body requires cellular energy, digestion, hormone production, energy production, immune function, and the list goes on. So when our cells can't perform their many jobs because they don't have enough cellular energy, toxins start to accumulate. The gut starts to become dysfunctional and chronic inflammation is the byproduct of all of this. And therefore, addressing chronic inflammation requires repairing the energy production system. And this begins with mineral balancing because minerals are the spark plugs of life. They are the spark plugs of cellular energy. And unfortunately, many people believe and many people are taught that balancing minerals is pretty straightforward. They think they can run a hair tissue mineral analysis test, also known as an HTMA and then take the subsequent supplements that looks like they're deficient in, in order to fix mineral imbalances. Or maybe they think that they're taking a multivitamin or drinking an electrolyte mixed drink every day and therefore doing enough to support minerals. But this is just a super small part of the entire process. And simply taking minerals is not ultimately going to be the long-term solution to low cellular energy, dealing with chronic inflammation, and healing from chronic health challenges. The truth is that balancing minerals is a long game and it requires a truly holistic, whole person approach. So what might that include? Well, here are just a few points for you to consider. Mineral levels and the balance of our minerals is actually a huge reflection of the mental and emotional body. So minerals do have a physical impact, but they also have a huge psychological impact. The body and mind are not separate. We cannot heal one without the other. So mineral imbalances can start due to mental and emotional factors, but then mental and emotional factors can also start to negatively impact our minerals. So this is why we need to be working on both physiology and psychology at the same time. 
When it comes to mineral balancing, sometimes strategic supplements can be helpful. And we here at Wellness Code Academy very much believe in the less is more approach. And for some people, they might actually not be able to tolerate any supplements in the beginning of their healing journey. And so it is always important, no matter the case, to make sure that we are paying attention to foundations first. So there's a lot of different foundations to consider, but thinking of things like rest and sleep, which are actually very different. We need adequate amounts of both. We want to start thinking about getting out in nature. We want to think about connection and the health of our relationships, the health of our mindset. We want to think about getting exposed to natural light during the day, avoiding a lot of blue light, particularly at night, and the list goes on. Another important foundation is adequate nutrition. If nutrition isn't right, nothing else will be right. Minerals, we don't make them. We get them through the diet. And yes, unfortunately, our soils are much more depleted these days. And so it is a lot harder to get 100% of all the minerals that we need just through foods alone. However, we wanna make sure that what we are putting into our bodies is fueling our bodies appropriately. It contains the highest amount of bioavailable nutrients. And we also want to make sure nutrition is supporting healing of the digestive tract. Because when it comes to nutrition and figuring out what to eat, there's more to it than what it says its nutritional value contains. It's all about what our bodies and what our digestive systems can properly digest, break down, and absorb. And so there is not going to be a one-size-fits-all approach to anti-inflammatory nutrition that supports our cellular health. It's going to be a very bio-individual approach. So working either with a practitioner or really doing your research to figure out what might work for you, and there is going to be some amount of experimenting likely involved there. But you really cannot just Google an anti-inflammatory diet and assume that that list is going to work well for you or your clients. The next important factor to consider when it comes to supporting mineral balancing and optimizing our cellular health are our habits. Would you believe that 80% of our healing journey ultimately comes down to our daily habits. We are typically the byproduct of the things that we do repeatedly. So really taking a hard and honest look at our habits and which ones might be wrecking our health and which ones can uh, be implemented in order to help build our health. And we cannot supplement our way or diet our way out of unhealthy and unsupportive habits. So just to give you a few examples, there are many different areas that we wanna consider when it comes to taking a look at our habits. Number one is our lifestyle. So this might be things like multitasking, pushing beyond our capacity, procrastinating, excessive screen time, and the list goes on. We also wanna consider our eating habits. Are we eating too quickly? Are we grazing on food throughout the day or snacking too much? Are we eating too much junk food, not chewing enough, etc.? We also can consider our sleep habits. Going to bed after 10 o'clock is not a great idea. Not having a bedtime routine that helps us wind down and calm our systems so that we can get adequate amounts of deep sleep. We also can consider our physical or body-based habits. So things like relying on medications to suppress our symptoms, taking too many and too many of the wrong supplements can actually further stress out the body and the nervous system. And even things like poor posture. And the last uh, section that is important to consider when it comes to looking at our habits are actually our mental and emotional habits. So complaining, overanalyzing, perfectionism, people-pleasing, blaming, 
having unrealistic expectations, and the list goes on. These are also 100% factors that we need to consider that are wrecking our cellular health, which are is leading to chronic inflammation and therefore the development of chronic health challenges. There's ultimately so much to learn when it comes to supporting our cellular health, which unfortunately can't be explained in one video. This is why we created a complimentary class to help teach you more. So this class is called How to Help clients create breakthrough healing and transform your coaching biz without feeling like you're missing critical pieces of the wellness puzzle. Inside this class, you're going to learn three game-changing secrets that will change your personal and professional well-being. You're also going to find out how you can learn to use HTMA or hair tissue mineral analysis as a roadmap to heal from chronic health challenges of all kinds and increase cellular energy through the lens of trauma, psychoneuroimmunology, and transformational coaching. You can find the link to grab your free spot in this class in the video section below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something new and we'll see you next time.